Hi Aquarius, this is your April monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And uh, at the end we'll get you an advice for the whole month of April. Please like, share, subscribe and uh, hit the bell to get notified to support this channel. This first spread is a new love uh, in April. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. We have uh, the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Fool. We have the Eight of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune with Strength and uh, the Four of Wands. And we also have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Well, Aquarius, um, here's the deal. I don't judge. I don't ever judge. Okay, I'm just a messenger, but for some of you, people will be talking after what you are about to do. For some of you, people will definitely be talking, all right? But you don't care. It's You just don't care. <laughs> and I'm not surprised. Aquarius people usually don't give a damn, all right? And um, yeah, it's whatever you want to do. So here's the deal. We, we start off with the Five of Swords, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Um, <laughs> some of you, you could be running away from, you could be running away from somebody with this new person, okay? Perhaps you are uh, talking to somebody or you're in a relationship with somebody and uh, when this new person shows up, you're going to run away. You're going to drop that person and run away with the new person. For others of you, those two cards, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, perhaps you've got people who are against the two of you being together and with those two cards you're gonna say you know what screw all of you we don't care we're in love with each other and uh, off into the sunset the two of you go all right um, that's how I see those two cards the five of swords clarified by the seven of swords yep the rest of the spread is awesome <laughs> the rest of the spread is awesome as a matter of fact we have um, a major Arcana card for every single fire sign on the table. The Fool could be an Aries, the Will of Fortune could be a Sagittarius, Strength could be a Leo. And the Four of Wands right next to the deck is a card of a commitment of marriage, but it's a Wands card, right? The fire sign indicator card. So I would just have to assume that uh, the person you are dealing with, the new person, is uh, most likely a fire sign or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart, right? Right next to that Five of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups. That's what it's all about. Love. Genuine, authentic love. And uh, the Fool, clarifying the Ace of Cups, if it's not an Aries you're dealing with, then the Fool is taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Not caring what people say. You know, perhaps liberating yourself from another relationship. And again, I don't judge. <laughs> Aquarius, I don't judge. The Fool is you're not going to think twice. You're going for it because of uh, love with that Ace of Cups. The Eight of Wands um, in the middle uh, could be a card of trouble, just like the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you will get on that plane and you'll fly out to Vegas and get married. I would not be surprised if this happens. For others of you, the Eight of Wands is um, still one of the fastest cards in the deck, so this is going to take off like a rocket, right? It's a love at first sight, it's mutual love, and you just can't get enough of each other. My favorite interpretation of the Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows card, right? The Cupid is having the best month ever, striking both of you, hence the Ace of Cups, and uh, that's why the two of you are just going to go for it with the full card. The Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, that's you, so <laughs> we all agree with that, right? Um, in the potential outcome, we have that Wheel of Fortune, Strength, and the Four of Wands. Looks, looks good. Two major arcana cards and a commitment and marriage card. Looks good, Aquarius. <laughs> right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, if it's not a Sagittarius, you're doing, then the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle between you and them. It could also be a card of trouble. But uh, since it's in the potential outcome, it's the start of a new cycle on the next level up. It's also, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. Strength. The next card over, if it's not um, a Leo you're dealing with, then a strength is uh, either a card of pure, raw passion for each other, and strength could be a card of courage, having courage what you're about to do. Again, you don't care. You just don't care. Even though it will still require strength and courage on your part, I think you're, you're ready to accept that challenge and go through with it, right? The four of ones right next to the deck is often referred to as, a, as the 11-11 card, 
right? Uh, but it is a card of a commitment of marriage. To me personally, the four of wands always reminds me of an actual wedding. You see what I'm seeing? In some cultures, when people get married, they do it underneath the structure, with the leaves and branches on top of it. And uh, that's why it always reminds me of an actual wedding, but it is one of the commitment of marriage cards. So, Aquarius, yeah, you are taking a risk, but I think you know what you're doing, okay? And uh, it looks good. In the, uh, it looks good. Three major kind of cards in the commitment and marriage card. <laughs> All in the name of love. All in the name of love. I'm really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this card is for you. We have uh, the Will of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is awesome. Aquarius. <laughs> it is so good, I did not even want to clarify it because I did not want to mess it up. This really is awesome. Um, the Will of Fortune, uh, the first card that came out, you could be traveling. You could be taking your existing relationship to the next level, whatever that level is for you. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles with the Four of Wands is a hint <laughs> on what that new level is, the next level is. Others of you could be moving in together. You could be purchasing a new house or a new apartment or a second property, right? Um, you could be getting married. You could be being proposed to. Right? Both of you are on the same page. The Two of Cups are on, on the bottom of the deck. There's two people in the Two of Cups. That's you and your person. Right? It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of a soulmate connection. And uh, it is a card of when two people feel the same way. Okay? People are on the same page. People see eye to eye. Right? Um, the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands are both commitment to marriage cards. Yep. The Ten of Pentacles could be a card of financial abundance and it could also be a card of real estate. Alright, so yeah, you've got everything going for you. Absolutely everything. Um, the only, uh, I guess, other way to interpret this is somebody is getting married and uh, you're going to their wedding. <laughs> but hopefully all of this is for you, Aquarius. This is awesome. Two commitment and marriage cards out of four cards. Two. Not one, but two. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, this uh, month. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have uh, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups, clarified by Judgment. And we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Water, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, you see what I'm seeing, Aquarius? We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles, right? This is a perfect match. What's interesting is that the first spread, the new love spread, was um, really fast, <laughs> unpredictable even, right? Uh, this spread right here, this couple right here with the king and the queen of pentacles is a complete opposite of that, right? This couple we have is very down to earth, right? There, no, there is no really fast moving energies except for that will of fortune, I guess. But, uh, you know, the will of fortune is just a, a cycle. Um, yeah, the King and the Queen of Pentacles are very down-to-earth people, uh, two people who are ready to settle down, Some two people who are ready to, um, you know, save money and make purchases such as houses, apartments, real estate, you know, very down-to-earth energies. The Wheel of Fortune, the first card I came out, is a cycle, right? Uh, and it's classified by the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups has always to do with the past. It's a card of regretting the past, grieving the past, reminiscing the past crying over the past, and I think that's what I think both of you are missing, right? Or perhaps one of you or both of you realize that you could have had it all with this person, and now they're coming back. We have the Knight of Cups classified by Judgment right next to the deck. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but most likely the Knight of Cups is all about love. Some major, um, very loving gesture with the Knight of Cups, because the Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. The Knight of Cups is often referred to as Prince Charming or the Knight in the Shining Armor. You know, so do expect a very romantic gesture from this person, just to show you that they are still in love with you and they want to try again with you. Right, Judgment, clarifying the Knight of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past, but at the same time, since this card came out last, I think it's going to be up to you to make this judgment call, whether you want to give it another shot or not. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aquarius. Um, in April, we have Death, clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. Uh, we have the Ace 
of Swords, classified by the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo. I think it's all about you this uh, month. It's like, it almost feels like a liberation or a rebellion. <laughs> it's like you're going to get out of that dead-end job. Or you're going to make a decision to pursue some other career. Or you're going to make a decision to, um, I don't know, go back to school. Right? It's like, especially, this will most likely apply to you, especially if you've been stuck somewhere. Somewhere you're not happy, where people suck or you think it's a dead-end job, or you, you're just not happy there, right? And uh, you're getting out of it. You're get, definitely getting out of that. Perhaps some of you could be, you know, quit your 9 to 5 and start your own business, right? It, that's what could be happening here. But you're definitely starting something new, brand spanking new, and you feel good about it. All right, so we got the Hermit on the bottom of the deck, could be dealing with a Virgo, but I think the Hermit is your own... Uh, soul searching. You went through some kind of a thought process before you decided to make this move. And uh, we have Death clarified by the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of somebody who is overthinking, but at the same time it's a card of somebody who is stuck, trapped, right? Like a dead-end job, or you're stuck with people you don't like, <laughs> or you're stuck in a career that you never even wanted for yourself. Perhaps uh, somebody influenced you to go and take get this job or to get this education, right? But the first card is death. The first card is death, <coughs> which is classified by the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden, okay? It's a card of a lot of responsibilities, it's a card of that's taking a toll on you, you know, just something tough. And death is um, a card of transformation, or you're deciding to put an end to that Ten of Wands. And uh, there you are with the Ace of Swords, clarified by the uh, Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. This is you starting something brand new. Something you're going to like, something you're going to enjoy, right? And um, whatever it is, I think it's good. I think it's a good decision. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success. It's a card of you feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of you feeling good about yourself. The Ace of Swords definitely belongs to you, Aquarius. You're the King and the Queen of Swords. That's your sword in there in the Ace of Swords. And at the same time, the Ace of Swords is a card of clarity. It's a card of a very decisive uh, energy. The Wheel of Fortune is a start of a new cycle. It's a start of a new cycle. <coughs> it's like a, a, um, a new era of your life. All right? Cool. Here's the advice or uh, word of wisdom for you, Aquarius, for the whole month of April. We have uh, the Queen of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We have the King of Wands. And uh, we have the chariot on the bottom of the deck. This month you will find your partner in crime, Aquarius. And I think this is applicable to the first spread. The very first spread, the new love spread. You guys are the king and the queen of wands. And uh, whenever the king and the queen of wands show up in my spreads, I usually call it partners in crime. Okay? Hopefully not literally. <laughs> but yeah, this person is uh, your perfect match. Both of you are easy to get up and go, and that's exactly what we saw during the first spread. You're not hesitating. You will get up and go, <laughs> right? Both of you have a lot in common. Both of you are on the same page. Yep, perfect match. And uh, before I started clarifying, we had the Ace of Cups between the two of you, right? It's all about love, genuine, authentic love, the Wheel of Fortune clarifying it. it is the start of a cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. It could be a card of travel. <coughs> The chariot on the bottom of the deck is a card of actually going somewhere, and uh, I think you will. <laughs> Some of you are flying out to Vegas or wherever. Um, but the chariot is a card of victory, success. It's a card of moving forward and not looking back. All right, so even though, like I said, during the first spread that people will be talking... For some of you, after what you're about to do, but uh, it's going to be worth it. And uh, most importantly, you don't care because uh, because of love, and because you guys make a perfect couple. Yeah, Aquarius, one interesting reading. But uh, yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing April.